actually, we look forward to it. Um, obviously, we had UConn here at home early in our schedule, and we were anxious to go to their place and and see the uh, the big monster, as we're calling them right now, and their crowd and what they play like on their home court. So. Um, now, being excited about that, being excited about that, and also being able to manage that are two two very different things. But we felt fairly good um, about our performance against them here, or I should say, we felt good about parts of our performance here. And so we tried to take those positives into the game at UConn. Now, then to have Louisville on on the heels of UConn, um, that probably was something that we couldn't manage. And from a fatigue standpoint, and and from a back-to-back -back road trip standpoint, we didn't certainly represent ourselves as well at Louisville as we would have liked. And that largely started because of the, of the uh, foul trouble early in the game. And then, and then it really got away from us. And one young lady by the name of Shona Schimmel that decided to have a career night from the three-point line. Um, but those are experiences that we have to have in order to get better in the American Athletic Conference and in order to understand what it's like night in and night out. So I don't want to go back and do it again this week, but hopefully we learned from, something from it last week that we can take into um, our games going forward. Th this is truly the grind. We are now into six months of practicing six days a week, traveling on the road. The newness of a basketball season has completely worn off. But this is the time that separates teams that want to play in March and teams that aren't able to weather it. We're, we don't have a lot of experience to draw upon right here, so we're just trying to keep the carrot in front of our players every day and talk about how this is the time that determines whether we have an opportunity to play in March. And sometimes they can understand that and sometimes they can't. But I don't ever want a team to look back in March and say, boy, I wish Coach had let us know at that point in time. We're going in eyes wide open. We know it's the grind and we're going to try to manage it the best we can because our aspirations still lie in March. They will be here and they, are, they have retooled. Um, you can see it on videotape and they are hungry. They are out to prove that their team was not a one-man show. And just because they don't have Brianna Jackson, um, but Jasia has now stepped up and is showing herself offensively. Um, their post players are pounding the glass and they're here to prove that, oh yeah, by the way, remember us? We're players also. We've had to retool ourselves a little bit this week too. We're going to be playing without our starter or two tomorrow because of, of injury. So it's going to be a great challenge for our young team. We've manipulated roles the last two days trying to get ready for it. So we will also be in the gym with hopefully 2,000 screaming kids ready to represent the Tigers.